I'm making this video for Steve Vanderzeel to see how this happy farmer goes together. But anybody can watch it, I guess, if they want. Can you come take a close up of this radiator? It's a, not the right radiator for this tractor. It came off a different model, Happy Farmer, but it's the same, basically, same thing. It has a shroud on it, so if you're going to have a radiator made, see this shroud, how it's made? And it, it was made for a different model, so it doesn't quite line up here, but it's supposed to line directly up. The piping is, is pretty small for the radiator. Because they wanted it to run hot if you were going to burn kerosene. If it didn't run hot, why? It would miss. Uh, come around here, Janet. I'm going to take a picture of this. This oiler, this arm is what he's missing on his tractor. Uh, I think we made this linkage, which is easy enough to make. I think what he's missing is this thing. It's got like four different holes in it that runs the oiler. Okay, you come around here. The throttle linkage hooks up like this and you adjust the speed just like this. If you could see, I don't, you don't have to come back around here, Janet. And if you could see right here is the butterfly that opens and closes on the, on the carburetor. So it does have a horizontal shaft through the carburetor. And this is the Kingston 5-ball carburetor. It's got five stainless steel balls inside here under springs. And, of course, this choke linkage I made, it, it didn't have one. But, but that's the kind of carburetor you need. The, the air cleaner I made, they had a bended air cleaner on it, but I never could find one, so I just kind of made one from pictures. Uh, nobody knows the difference. And this little fork here, it's got a spring on it, and there's a hole drill where you can move a cotter key up and down. The thing lopes as it idles. It sits there and hunts for the right speed, fast, low, fast, low, fast, low. And I saw another guy's Happy Farmer had that thing on there, and so I made one of those. And that really calms it down and makes it run smooth. Uh, the distributor, we always had it timed to, to run with the... With the uh, hole straight back here. This is something I made just to make it a little easier to control the timing. But I mean, it, it's got an automatic advance in it, but it idles so much better if you have some way where you can retard the spark. Let's see here. The, the original crank looked like this. Uh, this, is, this is one my dad made from memory, and it just kind of hooks over there. And you can see how it works. I don't use it because it doesn't work very well. I use the one. This is not right for this tractor. But I bought this on eBay and it's got a... I put a lathe bit up in here to bite into the the thing and it, it works really well. Let me turn the switch on here. Oh! Uh, it used to be a shelf in here where there were some dry cell batteries. I t we took the shelf out and just put a lawnmower battery in there. The coil mounts up here and the wire comes out the hole here and goes up there. That's how that was originally mounted. And it starts pretty good on 12 volts. Let me just fire it off here. And I'll show you how much better it runs when you retard the spark a little bit. We'll see. One, one point. If that thing slips off, your arm will come right back and you'll bust your arm something awful on that. So be careful. If that crank ever comes off, and if it ever backfires, it may throw that crank 50 feet forward. got to have this clutch or this brake hooked up and adjusted properly so that when the clutch disengages that brake engages otherwise once it's locked in you will never get it out of gear it'll just keep right on going if you don't have this brake right 
And when I'm in close quarters, I don't ever fully engage that clutch. I just kind of bump it a little bit because it's a tricky thing. And if you get in a tight quarters and you can't get it to disengage, you'll just go right on through the barn and keep going. So, yeah. Uh, and I also, I keep this door open where I can get to that switch and <laughs> if I have to, to kill it. Uh, if it's like, if you're in Oklahoma where the ground's flat, you know, you can yank it out of gear if you can't get the clutch disengaged. But it, it's kind of a dangerous deal. I can't think of anything else that he needs to know. Um, that's about all I can think of. If he has questions, why he can call me and ask me. Thank you for taping it, Janet. <laughs>